I don't think so. And I think it would be um, very presumptuous of anyone to be able to prophesy what could be the result of any sort of situation in this country. It's a very interesting country in that aspect in that somehow it always manages to come to a round table and solve its problems. It is not likely to lead to violence because the, with the prime minister and the federal president stepping into the shore at this early stage and uh, with their political maturity and the amount of confidence they command amongst the various political parties and the masses in the country, I think they'll be there in a position to avert the situation and nip the crisis in the bud. It is easy to become pessimistic, but I think we've seen worse days in Nigeria. We fight, and within a short time, the fight dies down. And within a short time, the present uh, uproar about censor will go down, and then there'll be no more trouble. We don't, we are not a riotous people, in, particularly in Lagos. And the second question we asked was, could the crisis wreck the Federation? I don't think so. The country is so firmly knit together. It's so firmly, firmly but loosely knit together. This is the, the main thing about it. Well, if things were left to get out of hand, it, it's, uh, the, the, the crisis is capable of ruining the federal setup, uh, which might result in uh, uh, having four countries instead of one Nigeria. But I think that uh, the various premiers who uh, are in control of the reg regions, uh, together with the prime minister and the president, will be able to correct the uh, differences that exist amongst the various political parties. It could if we didn't have... Um some sense of balance in the end. I think, I think the leaders will get together. I do not think it will deteriorate to that extent. Of course, we should all be concerned, but I do not think it will deteriorate to that extent. Well, we have our excitements, and this is one of them. And the experience in Nigeria is that in the press, there's a lot of uh, exaggeration about what goes on. But all of a sudden, the whole thing just cools down. We don't lead up to the type of violence, crisis, riots that uh, we have in other places. We do talk a lot, but we have the sense of responsibility not to make anything result in that type of violent crisis. It doesn't happen here. I, I think uh, any leader right now who, su wants, who, suggests, who would want to suggest uh, uh, breaking away would be uh, risking his uh, political prestige in the country because the people have, are coming to accept Nigeria as a country.